What? No, I haven't been ignoring you. I've just been keeping to myself. Sitting here silently, just thinking so many things. <laughs> what makes you think I'm upset? Just because I haven't changed into comfier clothes? Because I'm still in my outfit that I chose for our date? I'm just really enjoying this moment. <laughs> Why are you apologizing? Clearly you don't think there's a reason to apologize, since you haven't done it sooner. <laughs> No, I'm fine. What about this situation makes you think something's wrong? Perfectly fine. <sighs> so what if I've been staring at this wall? It's a very interesting wall. It never lets me down. It's always so true to itself. And I'm sure if it, um, made a promise, it would keep it. It wouldn't break a promise. Or multiple promises. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. For example, maybe... Promising to take me on a date. And then canceling. And then promising to reschedule. Promising again, finally rescheduling, having to cancel, you know, things came up, <laughs> and then finally, rescheduling a perfect date, and I'm sitting there waiting, and waiting, <laughs> because I arrived early, that was my mistake, and then, I don't know, I get a call about having to cancel? <laughs> Just like a minute or so right before the date was supposed to start. You know, those kind of promises. <laughs> it wouldn't really hurt if they weren't promises. And if they wouldn't keep getting cancelled. Over and over. But I'm fine. Really. Right, you're apologizing. I, I get it. You're really sorry. I forgive you. So you can go ahead and... Go do whatever it is you were doing. <laughs> I just want to sit here. Maybe pretend I am on a date. With our wall. It's keeping very good conversation. Or maybe because it's a very good listener. <laughs> I thought you wanted to go out with your friends. What are you still doing here? Oh, right, you, you didn't want to go out to help them. You just had to help them. Mm -hmm. Well, you should probably go do that. I mean, you did cancel our date. Again. To go and help them. So... <laughs> you know... It's kind of upsetting you just standing there. <sighs> no. Normally, I don't mind if you're close to me. I love being with you. Which is why I was so excited to go on a date. <laughs> but yet again, your friends need you. And I'm just... Push aside. You don't have to say anything. 
I know they're your number one priority. And I'm just a second thought. Oh, it's not like that. Oh, well, that was very obvious. Look, <laughs> my love, I know how much your friends mean to you. And that's why I was okay with you canceling the first couple of times. <laughs> but now it just seems like they're trying to distract you. Trying to make sure they don't lose you. And then I'm just here thinking that I'm going to lose you. <laughs> okay. When was the last time we really spent time together? Th th this is different. Well, for starters, you're about to leave. Yeah, right now it's just you trying to apologize. I know you're only still here because you kind of feel guilty. I'm not trying to make you feel guilty. I'm feeling my own feelings. You know, I think I'm allowed to because <laughs> this is a frustrating situation. And you're allowed to feel whatever you're feeling. If you don't hurry, your friends are going to think that you're canceling on them. You'll make it up to me. <laughs> I've heard that one before. Oh, I didn't mean to say that out loud. <laughs> you want, oh, you want me to be honest? Okay, I guess my passive aggressiveness wasn't really helping. I feel like I don't matter to you. Let me speak. Let me speak. <laughs> it's okay if you need to cancel sometimes. But every single time, I'm starting to feel like a burden. Like I'm just here to entertain you until your friends need something. And I'm just... I don't know. I feel sad. I've been looking forward to this. And now, every time you promise me something, I don't really believe you. I know that wasn't your intention, but that's how I feel. <laughs> No! Because if you cancel on your friends after canceling on our date, that's gonna make the situation worse. Because then it just feels like you canceled for nothing. Or that today was just a waste. You might as well keep one promise. Go hang out with your friends. I don't... Ugh. <laughs> This is gonna sound very mean. But I don't care what they need help with. See, I knew that was gonna sound mean. Up until this point, I did care. And I really tried to be supportive. But now all these reasons, they just... They feel like excuses to take you away from me. Yeah, I forgive you, I guess. <laughs> okay, I think I just need time alone. To just really process what I'm going through. <laughs> so, my love, if you could please just go. Go to your friends and help them. And just leave me alone to my thoughts. Yeah, you 
can make it up to me. And we'll see if you keep that promise. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs>